Right now, these 10 presidential candidates are sharing a stage at the Tyler Perry Studios at the former Fort McPherson in Atlanta, tight, battling it out to prove why they deserve to be the Democratic nominee in 2020. We are a long way from decision time, but tonight lots is being heard. It is the debate at the Tyler Perry Studios, and it comes four months before Georgia voters head to the polls. 11 of Lost Faith Abube is there, and we go to her live right now. It's been an interesting night, Faith. It's been very intriguing. A lot of interesting really thoughts and observations. Yes, and uh, we are about an hour into the debates right now. Uh, the candidates spent the first 12 minutes of this debate talking about the impeachment inquiries happening on Capitol. We know from our latest 11 Alive poll that this is an issue that Georgia voters are split on. What they do care about and what they do want to hear about today are the issues you're seeing there on the uh, on your screen right now. You see the economy is a big issue for Georgia voters, health care and immigration. So far, we've heard a little bit about health care, spe specifically Medicare for all. And just a few minutes ago, they started talking about the economy. When it comes to the economy, we know just last week the state released the latest jobs numbers indicating Georgia added 5,400 jobs in October. That dropped our unemployment rate to a record 20-year low. So by many accounts, Georgia's economy is doing well under a Republican governor, and the national jobs numbers continue to grow under a Republican president. I asked former House Minority Leader and Democratic nominee for Governor Stacey Abrams how the Democrats on stage tonight plan to convince Georgia voters Democrats would do a better job. The economy is good for some, and the challenge is that, yes, we have low unemployment, but that's because a lot of people have more than one job. We know that our farmers have been hit hard by the tariffs, by the unnecessary trade war started by President Trump, and continued under Senator Perdue, uh, and, sorry, under Senator Perdue. And so what we know is that Georgians need a change so that not only are they making a living, they're able to build a life. And that's what we're looking for, someone who's not satisfied with the status quo, but someone who has an idea for how we create more equity and more opportunity for all Georgians. Again, they just started talking about the economy, even talking about farmers. Again, something Georgians care about a lot. We are waiting to see if they talk about the heartbeat law, which made national headlines, and also uh, immigration here in Georgia. So we're listening and watching uh, to see what they say on stage tonight. If they, w the Democrats, want to turn Georgia blue next November, they're going to have to give Georgia voters detailed plans on all of these issues. Of course, we'll update you at 11 o'clock on Uplate on what else they're talking about on stage. Back to you, Jeff. All right, Faith and Bube joining us live from the Tyler Perry Studios tonight. Faith, thank you.